Evening everybody. So time for another video. I just wanted to go over the file filter feature that's found in FortiGate firewalls. Um, you don't really see it that often, uh, or certainly I don't work in um, for a consultancy firm, um, but it, it is quite a nice feature. So I just wanted to go over how to configure it um, and what kind of things it can be used for. So um, as uh, with the other videos that are in this series, if you uh, log into your FortiGate firewall, go to security profiles, and then in this case, file filter, um, I've got one pre-created here. So simply give it a name, comment, scan archive contents, feature set. Um, the good news for um, file filters is that most of the things are supposed, supported correctly in both flow-based and proxy-based inspection. Uh, the only advantage of, um, of proxy-based inspection is that it gives you a couple more protocols that it's able to filter on, essentially. So anything that's um, got P after it, uh, will only work in proxy mode. So SSH is an interesting one. So I guess if we're talking about best practice configuration, then we want to be doing proxy mode. So these are the protocols that it's able to see into and uh, either monitor or block files. Um, you can set the traffic source as uh, traffic that's coming into your environment or leaving your environment or both. Um, you can have the ability to only block password protected files only. And then you are able to specify the file types that you might want to either monitor or block. So I've gone with 7-zip ISO, which is the one that I'll use for the demonstration, JPEG, um, PNG, and zip. Be careful with JPEG and PNG because most websites um, actually have these uh, are using these file types for images and that kind of thing. So if you want your website to start looking extremely thin, then uh, go ahead and block these two protocols. Um, and just to um, go over it again, you've got two. You've got the ability to monitor, which simply means create a log entry if a certain file if one of these file types have been matched against, but don't block it or block it. So we click OK on that, OK on there. And then if we go over to policy and options, you will see that I have created uh, an example of policy. So same as always, uh, in the 40 net world, you need a firewall policy to actually be able to, um, where you match the security policy against it. Um, I've uh, limited the source to the MAC address of the, the host that I'm recording this video on. The destination is is all schedule always service all you could probably get a little bit more granular with that but we won't for this video the accept the accept um, action is going to be accept the inspection mode is proxy based just to show an example if you remember in the security policy itself that we set it to proxy based if i actually try to apply the demo file filter that we created you see that the one that we created here isn't listed because it's proxy based so there. For this video, we're not going to apply any of the other uh, security profiles. We're just simply applying the file filter. And if you just to go over it again, that is going to block um, 7-zip, ISO, PNG, J and JPEG. We're going to use ISO as our demo, so we'll roll with that. Uh, and then I need to enable that policy. So before I do that, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go over to uh, 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 downloading an ISO file. So I'm just going to use Debian. Um, and I'm going to click to download the file. And you, um, you can see at the bottom see that the file is downloading. Okay. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want the file on my machine. I'm just going to reload, uh, go back to the firewall policy itself and enable it. Clear that out there at the bottom. And I'm now going to reload the page and I'm going to try and download the same file again.
going to open up a new browser. I'm going to try and download the file again. And as you can see, we've got the blocking page. So just to finish things up, um, as always, we like to look at the logs here. So um, on the left-hand pane, I've gone to log and reports, go over to events, I've selected logs, I've selected file filter. I do have a 40 analyzer, but um, it's in memory at the minute because I've only literally just done it at this moment. And as you can see, these are the files that the file filter has correctly blocked. So uh, as you remember, we, 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 the, our example was this one here, this ISO file, but we did also select PNG um, in there. And as you can see, it, it's blocked some of those files as well. And that brings this video to a close. So just to summarize, we um, demonstrated how to use a file filter. We talked about flow mode versus proxy mode, and we provided an example on how to block uh, an ISO image from being downloaded. So you, you saw the blocking page. Um, as always, if you've got to the end of this video, thank you for getting here. Uh, please interact with me in the comments. Let me know about what you would like to see in future videos or any improvements that you might like to see. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.